The traditions, beliefs, and technologies of our ancient ancestors are still mysterious to us. There's so much we think we know about them. But then again, there's so much still to discover. Just when we think we're getting to know them, we find something that leaves us with more questions than answers. All the archaeological finds you're about to see in this video belong to that category. They're incredible mysteries with secrets yet to be revealed. Let's begin with a very recent discovery. In Switzerland, a team of archaeologists has discovered the Swiss equivalent of Stonehenge. But it's unlike Stonehenge because of two very important factors. The first is that this stone monument predates the famous pyramids of Egypt. The second is that their discovery is underwater. These relics are thought to be part of a Bronze Age village that's now at the bottom of Lake Lucerne. It's been hidden from view until now because of a thick layer of mud that's been stripped away because of the construction of a new pipeline in the area. The surprise discovery means that we can now say that there were people living in and around the lake a full 2,000 years before humans were previously thought to have arrived in the area. Back when the village was populated 3,000 years ago, the level of the lake was 16 feet lower than it is today. The settlement was probably abandoned because of the ancient flood that deepened the lake. It might even be possible that there are other small villages hidden at the bottom of the lake, so archaeologists are still active in the area looking for more evidence. The harsh terrain and frozen conditions of Antarctica make it difficult to explore by foot, but the invention of Google Earth has made it much easier for amateur sleuths to study and explore the land from the comfort of their own homes. Very occasionally, they make strange, hard-to-explain discoveries like this one. It appears to be a dome-like structure, and it sparked theories that there might have been a whole civilization living here in ancient times. The shape and design of the unknown structure make it appear to be human-made, although this cannot be proven without closer inspection. Based on measurements taken from Google Earth, the dome is roughly 400 feet wide. There have been rumors for decades that people once lived on Antarctica, but there's been a lack of solid evidence to support such an idea until now. What we do know, though, is that the continent was free of ice until around 12,000 years ago. That means it's entirely possible that people lived here, and this dome might be all that's left of their civilization. It would be great if archaeologists could go here and carry out an exploratory dig, but that's easier said than done. We know from the many hieroglyphs and paintings left behind by the ancient Egyptians that for much of their history, the people of ancient Egypt walked barefoot. Footwear only started to become fashionable and practical around the beginning of the New Kingdom era, with sandals being the footwear of choice for most people. The sandals people wore back then were a little more elaborate than the sandals of today, though. It's easy to see that by looking at these stunning golden sandals, which were found in the tomb of Tutankhamun. It's reasonable to assume that they belong to the young king. While the poor people of the era made their sandals from straw or reeds, these luxury sandals were made from leather and then decorated with beads and jewels. Such is their ornate nature that it's likely they were only ever worn on special occasions. In fact, the quality of the craftsmanship is so exquisite that we'd struggle to replicate it today. Whoever made the pharaoh sandals even designed and incorporated glass inlays. This is yet another example of the ancient Egyptians being remarkably advanced for their time. Our next discovery was made in March 2020, but archaeologists and scientists still don't know what to make of it more than a year later. It appears to be the fossilized remains of an ancient wheel, embedded in sandstone deep inside a coal mine in Donetsk, Ukraine. The wheel has visible spokes and looks like it must have been built by human hands. Scientists tell us that's impossible, though, because the sandstone it's embedded in is 300 million years old. The mystery surrounding the origins of the wheel is made harder to solve by the fact that it can't be removed from the sandstone. It would be dangerous to attempt to remove it because it could cause the tunnel to collapse. The tunnel it's in is also prone to flooding, 
so opportunities for scientists to enter them and inspect the wheel with their own eyes are limited. There were no human beings living on Earth 300 million years ago as far as we know, so it's tempting to believe the scientific explanation that this is a natural rock formation, and its resemblance to a wheel is coincidental. Still, the resemblance is so strong, it's hard to write off as a coincidence. Remarkable archaeological discoveries are made in the United Kingdom on a regular basis. So when an archaeologist there describes something as the find of the century, it's probably worth paying attention to. The find in question is this ancient Celtic shield. It's a relic of the country's Iron Age and was found in Pocklington, East Yorkshire in December 2019. The shield is one of many artifacts found in a warrior's tomb. Elsewhere in the same tomb was the warrior's chariot, along with the skeletons of horses buried upright. Somewhat unpleasantly, that probably means the horses were buried alive 2,300 years ago. This is far from the first chariot burial discovery in the UK, but it's the first to feature horses and a shield of this type. The scalloped design of the defensive weapons border makes it unlike any other Iron Age shield found to date anywhere in Europe. Archaeologists often assume that shields with elaborate decorations like this one were used purely for ceremonial reasons. But the multiple marks and evidence of repair work on this shield seem to confirm that it was used in more than one battle. The warrior who's buried here must have been someone unique, but sadly we don't know his identity. If you were to see the entrance to the Cainton Caves in a farmer's field in Shropshire, England, you'd probably assume it was nothing more than a large rabbit's hole. It's not, though. Squeeze through the hole, and you'll find your way into an underground network of tunnels and caverns. Some historians believe that this was a secret meeting place for the legendary Knights Templar. Not everyone's convinced by that idea, though. Many archaeologists feel that it's more likely that the caves are grottos carved in either the 18th or 19th century. That's over a century after the Knights Templar order is said to have been disbanded during the 1600s. Even if that's true, nobody knows why they were made or what purpose they once served. There's some evidence within the caves of black magic rites or occult practices, but archaeologists believe that's a more recent development with believers in the occult gaining access to the caves to perform their rituals in the past few decades. The caves have been partially sealed since 2012 to prevent anyone else from getting in and causing damage. But the mystery remains. It's taken archaeologists a very long time to finish excavating our next discovery. They started working at the site of this ancient tomb in Luoyang, China in 2009. They didn't finish work at the 2,500-year-old site until May 2021. Looking at the size of it, it's not surprising that it took them so long. The central tomb is surrounded by a further 200 smaller tombs and also a burial pit full of chariots and horse skeletons. According to the experts, the site is a relic of a short-lived, little-known kingdom called Luhun. If so, this is a precious snapshot of history. Luhun is thought to have existed for only 113 years between 638 BCE and 525 BCE. That makes this tomb a rare and precious find, but sadly it's not in great condition. There's extensive water damage to the tomb's exterior and signs of a possible grave robbery in the distant past. We don't truly know who lived in Luhun, why it existed so briefly, or where its people went when their kingdom ceased to exist. Frustratingly, this site doesn't provide us with much in the way of answers. The best known ancient petroglyphs in the world are the famous Nazca Lines of Peru, but that might soon change. In May 2021, a team of French archaeologists claimed that this site in the Indian Thar Desert contains the largest drawing ever made on Earth. They might have a point. This colossal spiral covers an area of almost one million square feet. The French team initially spotted the desert artwork on Google Earth before flying to India to inspect it in person. 
The larger spiral is made up of several smaller ones, including four different and distinct symbols, with the largest individual line extending more than seven and a half miles into the outskirts of the village of Boha. At this early stage, it's impossible to say who created the lines or when, other than a general feeling among their experts that they're at least 150 years old. They're likely to be far older than that. Their purpose is unknown, even to the people of Boha, who didn't know the spirals existed until the discovery was made. That's not surprising because the lines are so large that they can't be seen properly from ground level. Quite how and why people with no knowledge of flight created works of art that can only be seen from the air is unknown. If you were to get a tattoo today, you'd presumably go to a clean, hygienic tattoo parlor to get the work done. Modern tattoo parlors are required by law to provide a safe environment. No such standards existed in Tennessee, USA 3,620 years ago. Back then, tattoos were made using nothing more sophisticated than hollowed out turkey leg bones like these. The animal bones, which were found in April 2021, are not only the oldest tattooing tools ever found in the USA, but the oldest in the whole world. They might even be older than 3,620 years. That's at the more recent end of the estimates provided by scientists. At the other end of the scale is the suggestion that they're an astonishing 5,520 years old. Aside from being hollow, the ends of the bones have been deliberately sharpened and also still bear traces of the ink that they were once dipped in. It was once thought that Native Americans didn't start giving or wearing tattoos until about 3,000 years ago, but that's obviously not the case. In the same grave as the bones, archaeologists also found a few pigment-stained seashells that were probably used as inkwells. It's likely that the person buried in the grave was the tattoo artist himself. If you know where to find the San Pedro Mountain Mummy, please contact an archaeologist immediately. It's been missing since the 1980s, but its long absence has only served to strengthen its near-mythical status. The official story of the mummy's history is that it was found by a pair of gold prospectors in the mountains of Wyoming, USA in June 1934, as they blasted their way into caves using dynamite. The discovery of this mummy in a newly revealed cavern stopped them in their tracks. Both of them had heard Native American legends of so-called little people living in the San Pedro Mountains, and now here they were looking at what appeared to be the mummified remains of one. At barely six inches tall, it should have been too tiny to be a real person, and yet the still existing teeth, fingernails, and wrinkled skin of the mummy confirmed it as genuine. Many years after its discovery, the San Pedro Mountain Mummy was x-rayed and studied with technology that wasn't available in the 1930s. Those studies confirmed the mummy to be the remains of a human being with a birth defect that restricted his height. He passed away somewhere close to the beginning of the 18th century at the age of around 65. Why he was deliberately posed like this and then left in a cavern is a total mystery. Humans have always been vain and have always had concerns about looking their best. That's why the beauty and cosmetics industries are worth countless billions of dollars. There's nothing new about what they do, though. In fact, here's an ancient Roman take on the idea of face cream. It still has the finger imprint of the last person to use it some 2,000 years ago. The small tin was found in the ruins of an ancient Roman temple in London, England. Because of the religious nature of the building it was found in, it was briefly assumed to be a religious artifact of some kind. But an analysis of its contents revealed it to be made of animal fat, starch, and tin for pigmentation. That's similar to a face cream recipe known to have been used in the Italy of the time, so it's fair to assume its purpose was the same. While tin might sound like an unlikely ingredient for face cream, the use of tin here is actually better for the skin than the creams people were using in Rome at the time, where lead was used instead. 
The Pyramid of the Sun was discovered in Mexico more than a century ago, but such is the enormous scale of the site that new discoveries are made there with surprising regularity. As a case in point, here's this stunning, super-realistic green serpentine mask. The mask was actually found in a tunnel beneath the pyramid back in the 1930s, but was somehow mislabeled during the collection process and stayed on a shelf in a museum until January 2020. The Pyramid of the Sun was built by the ancient Teotihuacan people during the 1st or 2nd century, long before the Aztecs came along and claimed it for themselves. This mask is also presumably a relic of their culture, about which almost nothing is known. Based on the fact that the mask was found beneath the pyramid in tunnels that also served as the building's foundations, it's likely that it was left behind on purpose as a votive offering. Archaeologists haven't found anything like it in the area before or since, so it might have been a unique creation. Finds like this make us wish we knew more about the Teotihuacan culture. Subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and enjoy watching new videos on my channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon!